think? Can you summarise that one for us, please? Good game, wasn't it? You know, very open, good game. Uh, we went with the same starting lineup, um, and I thought the boys have given their all. Harry Taylor today, just tremendous, playing with a tight knee, and so did uh, so did Harley. So they've given their all, and uh, you know, showed good character this weekend, really. And uh, we did challenge the boys. I said a few weeks ago, um, can we go and beat them for the last four games, and we've managed to do that. We got five points from the last three games, so <clears throat> yeah, really happy with the performance, and uh, could have won it at times. We hit the crossbar, we hit the post, so. No, they did too, but good game, entertaining game to be fair. It took us a while, a while to get going, which has been a bit of a theme in recent games. What, what do you put that down to? We're just leggy, we're tired, you know, no rotation. Um, and then just, just to get, we were stiff, just to get the rhythm going in the game. But um, yeah, look, like I say, it's, uh, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm delighted with the performance and the result. Uh, these have been watering teams um, over the last, I think the top of the farm going, right? I'm in there on top of the farm going over the last seven, eight, nine games, so good result for us. What, what was said at the break? Because there seems to be a, a lot more energy from, from the lads uh, as, as we came out for the second yeah, half. There's a slight hill here, there's a slight hill, um, and we said we could have a few more shots. We got in some re- I thought we got in some great areas for half without like hoarding them. But we got in some really good areas in the wide areas. We got in behind the back of their midfield, ran at that back four. Just not enough end product. Um, and then second half we did a little bit more about us and I thought we were a slightly stronger team second half Have you got any issues with the uh, the goal conceded in the first half it was a good finish <laughs> a great goal you know, to be fair we've come inside we spoke about it just frustrated because you know, we've, we watched the video and we walked on it yesterday he's come inside played a wall pass which they like to do and then he's, he's got that to be fair he can bend them in the far corner and they, the two wingers are really dangerous here so the, especially the way they play it's a very expansive team looks like a brilliantly coached team great on the eye um, and they've got some good players and, and obviously our goal came from Adam Merritt once again it was a, a long range effort which just shows his ability to score from close range and from, uh, from outside the box yeah great finish by Mass to be fair I um, mean no real chances today um, you know, in the in the round the box, I thought our, our end product from wide areas could have been better. But like I said, I put that down to fatigue, and uh, sort of you've a lot of players there. Teddy Howe hasn't played uh, consistently all year; hasn't had a pre-season. Daniel Powell hasn't had a pre-season. Everton Richards, uh, uh, sorry, Richards Everton. I always say that. Sorry, sorry, Rico. Um, he's sort of been in and out of the team. Um, if you look through, it, a lot of players that are coming back long-term injuries. Wes Fonguk. So I'm really delighted with our performance over over the over the last 40 hours. As you mentioned, yeah, to, to, to come here, uh, given the, the the form they're in, and uh, to, to pick up a, a point is, is a great result, given um, given the, the, the tough heart, tough games we've had recently. Yeah, just with a depleted squad, you know, I, uh, I come on with it all the time. Uh, we've, not, we've not enough defenders fit, not enough midfielders fit either, so um, I'm delighted for the lads. I'm delighted for our club as well, I'm delighted for our supporters, they were brilliant again for us today. Got behind us, travel, to travel up here in a bank holiday Monday, you know, take your hat off to them and... Just see at the end, we're starting to create that togetherness. That just comes from serious hard work. We walked our socks off again today. And uh, I would have took a point before the game. Like I said, we have to we'll try to go and beat for the last five games. We've managed to do that in three now. So um, we'll enjoy the trip home. And uh, the boys have got a couple of days off. They've well earned a couple of days off now. Um, they deserve that. And we'll, we'll move on to Saturday to Weymouth. Apparently had a big chance to, to win it at the end. How frustrating is it that he couldn't quite find the finishing touch? Look, it is what it is. So... There's nothing you can do about it. Got in a great position. On, I, I never, it doesn't bother me missing chances. If we're creating chances, that's a good sign. Um, so it never bothers you missing them. Just keep creating them, keep doing the right things. And the habits, the good habits over the last two or three games have been good. Ideally, we'd like to keep clean sheets. If you actually look at it, they sort of had a free header late in the game. And then uh, that was sort of on their only real chance in the second half, a real clear chance. What I can remember, I could be wrong there, um, straight after the game. So a little bit emotional. but. Um, on the top with two or three we on the side of the crossbar um, Powell had the right chance and we got some Efron slipped over as he got in one on one um, so we got in some really good areas but uh, like I say I respect the point and I think it's a well-earned one and, and as you mentioned the, the, the fat fans turn out in the numbers uh, all the way up here in Manchester deserve a lot of credit don't they? Yeah great lads you know great guys really appreciate what they've done uh, over, you know to come up here it's, it's, it's a long hour travelling on the bank money and spending their own hard cash it, it's a uh, we just appreciate it. I think we showed them a performance where they'll appreciate what we've done for them over the last two or three games. So, especially over the last three games, they've been it's been a tough run of fixtures, and you know it'll be tough again going to Weymouth this weekend. So, hopefully, we'll be down there in the droves. It's a last away trip, and uh, we want to keep giving them something to sing about. We want to finish the season on on, on, a, on a bit of a high. Um, like I say, you know, when you actually look at the season as a whole, it's been uh, sort of like 
it's been up and down kind of thing. We've had different situations, but you know, if you actually look where it was this time last year, and we've come a long way, you know, because it's a very difficult division. It's not easy. Ask the three relegated sides how difficult it is. Um, so we've got a bit of stability, a bit of continuity, and uh, we have a massive summer ahead of us, and it'll be the busiest time of the year for me. Um, it's been really busy the last two months uh, in the recruitment department, and uh, the boys here have, have, have you know, raised our stock a little bit again, so full credit to them. We've got a few days to prepare for, for Weymouth. How important is it to feel like that, that space is, given the, the, the uh, quick turnaround we've had in this uh, bank holiday weekend? Yeah, sometimes you know, rest is part of training. So the boys well deserve to get two days off. We won't get back, obviously, till late tonight, so they'll have Tuesday, Wednesday off, be back in Tuesday, Friday. Prepare for the game like we always do. Uh, in play analysis on Tuesday, restarts on Friday, and, uh, and see who's fit, who's not. Um, and then just yeah, pick it up from there. But it's nice, you know, it's nice when you, when you don't get beat. Um, it's nice when you set targets and the boys start achieving them. So, um, like I say, we could have won the game. Then again, we could have lost the game as well. It was the same today. We could have won the game late with Efron against Grimsby. But we've shown that, you know, if we walk hard, stick together, roll our sleeves up, give our supporters something to, uh, to sing about, you know, that's all any man wants. And our players have shown that over the last few games.